Well, it's a much nicer day this this time for this recording. Welcome along uh, to the microphone garden. This is Long and the Tooth Television. This is David. Hello. And I'm Peter. And we've got another microphone for you. This look at that. Look at the size of that. <laughs> look at the gleam on it. The sparkle. The shine. Is that an RE27? No. <laughs> <laughs> How does the joke go? Are well, you just RV? pleased to see me? Yeah, something like that. We've messed it up. Never mind. <laughs> Probably just as well. But it is an RE27ND. And we're not talking into it. No. This is being recorded no, no, no. through the camera, or the Sony ZV-1 camera, and we're just using the internal microphone. Tell us all about the RE27, the Electro Voice RE27. Well, it hasn't been produced quite as long Don't as the RE. Yeah, no, I'm not. Yeah. Yes, I'm just holding it <laughs> up. Once so he's got them, oh, yes, I'll get one it. as well. <laughs> No. It, it hasn't been produced as long as the uh, RE20. Um, it did come slightly later in the lineup. I think this, this was produced from the 1980s onwards, and it has a neodymium magnet Ooh. in the capsule. Um, it, it's interesting, isn't it, though, you said that, but to compare it to the RE20, which, which is, is very different capsule, isn't it, inside? Yes, that, that's more a traditional dynamic microphone capsule. Uh, this uh, neodymium magnet gives it more sensitivity, so you've got more output. You've got six decibels of output extra in comparison with the RE20. And it has a brighter sound as well, it does, doesn't it? But there are also three different switches, Sonic Man, and show. you can, we probably can't see them from that see distance, zoom up on um, that. but there's one that you can roll off the, um, you can roll off the low frequencies, you can roll off the mids, and you can also roll off the top, or you can have them, they're all set in the flat frequency response, so they're all set flat at the moment, but you have got three different tone controls. Uh, and they do say that when you roll off the top to get rid of some of the treble in the upper frequencies, it makes it sound like an RE20. Although, but purists would say the only thing that sounds like an RE20 is an RE20. Is an RE20. But nevertheless, yes. it's still a good option if you've got the extra cash, isn't it? Yes. Shall we switch it on and let... Well, let why and, not? And Because and, he looks like he's talking into it, but he's not. We're going to switch it no. on now. <laughs> And I'm now talking into the RE27ND. This is with the three um, frequency roll-offs. This is with no uh, added EQ. Um, so this is in the flat position. This is how it sounds normally. And it should sound slightly brighter with more treble than the RE20 microphone. So if I take the, the top off, if I roll off the top, whether you'll be able to hear this, there we are. So this is now with the top rolled off, and they do say it makes it sound a bit more like the RE20. That This was a microphone that I bought. Peter uses the RE20 as his broadcast microphone. I've got the RE27ND at home, this particular microphone. This is the one that I've brought today. Um, and I like to think that, um, yes, I've got the best of both worlds because I can create the sound of the RE20 by just rolling off the top there. With the magic of modern technology we can now just switch you to our previous video which is a demonstration of the RE20 and you can just hear the comparison to see whether it does sound like the RE20. 345, 54321, this is the Electro Voice RE20. Did it sound like the RE20? I wondered. Yes, all right, well, let's uh, put it back in the flat position. So there we are, this is with extra... Extra with texture. Treble. Mm -hmm. Yes, there you are. Have a go in that. The RE27, I've always fancied one of these, but with the extra cost, I thought we'd go with the traditional RE20. I think, I think Mabel's got one of your microphone bags. Mabel! <laughs> just check that, we'd better just check what's going on. We are in the microphone garden, of course, here. And um, indoors in the studio, David's got all his bags that he brought his microphones in. So that's the RE27, and uh, it's a beautiful looking microphone. There they are both together. And David's just going to come back out and we'll say goodbye. And I hope you've enjoyed that. We will do more from the uh, so much for the microphone bag. Just pass it here. There we are. So that, that was what we I've got some bags, David. I'll give you a, a Waitrose one to take it to take it home with. Sorry about that. Just, we're just saying goodbye. All right. 
So there we are. So it's a good job uh, I didn't leave the microphone in there, really. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you next time from the microphone garden here on Line the Tooth Television. Bye for now. This has been a Long in the Tooth television production. Subscribe to Peter's channel for more short bites of information for the radio generation.